Good day in the polytunnel, as you've most probably guessed because of the rather green background. I wasn't actually going to do a video today because I'm putting out some beans, but then just as I was about to start planting them out, I thought to myself, you know what, you should do this because um, I built a structure which I'm pretty impressed by and it's actually down to one of our, it's thanks to one of our subscribers, Colin, who sent us some bean arches, no, some rose arches. And we've actually used two of those rose arches, he sent us four, we've used two of those rose arches to build a frame for our Gigante's butter beans. And that frame will also have our cheeky prints planted inside it, possibly tomorrow or the next day. So I just thought I'd show you the structure, mainly because I'm pretty impressed with it myself. Let's go down and have a look at it now. These are our Gigante's butter beans. They're most probably between a foot and two foot high. Um, yeah, definitely that, that up to here is, in fact, up to there is, up to about there is a foot. So they're definitely mainly two foot high or a foot to two foot high. There are, I've sown two in each pot, though that one only has one that has germinated in there. I think you can see there's two in the end here. I think you can see there's two. So these are certainly ready to go in and need to go in. So we'll go and do that now. Hopefully you can hear it's quite a blustery day. Um, here and here at each end is a rose arch. I think these are, are they Kingfisher. I'll put the, the name on later. Um, they were relatively easy to put together, it did take, take some time and if you imagine at the bottom here they're mostly sunk about 30 centimetres into the ground. What I've then done is I have, this is the inside, this is the outside of the frame, I've sort of woven the um, At each point I put in another bamboo straight across which has then been tied in at the end. If I need to tie it in further later I will. So that's on four bottom, second level, third level, top level. If I need to get on a ladder and do it across there at a later date I will. And then what I've done is I've put these bamboo canes vertical and that's what some of the butter beans will grow up and the rest will actually grow up the, the bean frames. So as I mentioned, I'm trying to get my shadow out of the way, I'm also going to be using this area to put our cheeky prints squash in our cheeky prints pumpkins and i'm hoping that they will actually climb up the the frame as well the ones they most probably will need a, a little help um but you know what we'll we'll do that um if the cheeky prints don't work climbing this year then we'll try with butternut squash and other definite climbers next year anyway so now i'm going to sort out putting these beans in. I just thought I'd show you the root system that has developed. Pretty extensive, it could have most probably done with potting out maybe a week ago. So that's two per two per pot and I don't know if you can see there, it's a ladybird larvae. I've just seen. I don't think it's focusing. 
no there's a ladybird larva as well okay this is going in the ground that's all of the gigantes in so they've been just planted the depth of the pot that they were in so they haven't been planted any deeper like you do for other things beans don't need that and they've all been given a good water I'm going to leave it for about half an hour now and then I'm going to give them another good water there we are that's our gigantes if you were doing beans in a wigwam actually if I go over here maybe I'll see here a wigwam from my uh, neighboring plot holder you plant oh there's my big shadow you plant the beans on the inside of the frame because if you imagine as they climb up the frame they'll hit the the um, angled bamboo and twine around it because these are directly up they're straight uh, it doesn't really uh, matter whether they're on the inside or the outside and as we are going to be growing some pumpkins um, down here on the outside and then here and here um, I've decided to put them on the inside also sorry my big shadow also these tomatoes are going to as you can see there's one tomato sorry let me go here tomato here so there's not a huge gap between so I want this gap with this plank to be able to walk along so yeah we'll have about um, I think we'll be having three nine cheeky prints in here we're going to be greedy and have nine cheeky prints in here it will be a bit of a chore to water them but hey once these gigantes runner beans get away they'll be fine hopefully you can see me um yeah that's that's job done for today really glad to get those gigantes in and to get that frame up interesting to see if the cheeky prints will climb up the frame or not we'll see if they don't as i say we'll do other climbers next year so yeah thanks very much for watching if you like what we do please subscribe guys absolutely glorious day now really is sitting in this dappled shade under this apple tree yeah it's glorious glorious really is don't think we'll have any apples on it this year though I can't see a single one. Anyway, I'm just going to leave you with a little gift that we were bought by one of our neighbours. See you soon. Bye.